Hello and welcome back to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Today, you know, after CG tried making everyone engage in their little um, unlock thing that they had going on last week for Ezra Bridger Exile, um, here's a kit reveal for him. Shock, yeah, I know, we went through the whole rigor more of them producing a, uh, uh, <laughs> a tracker for us using battles with, with troopers in the game and just to get the kit reveal for him. Not care reveal, but like the ability reveal and all that stuff, but whatever. Um, anyways, Edger Bidger Exile. He's a light side Jedi Spectre support. Spectres, um, we have to actually get to that for a reason. Um, they are the, where did they put it? Oh, it's Spectre Tag, the crew of the Ghosts, and by extension, the Sokotano, are putting Spectres on their missions, so that's why the Phoenix Squad is going to be called getting the Spectre tag as well and the Still Katana. Probably Fulcrum will end GL Ahsoka. They're also introducing the Exile debuff, which is similar to Fractured. Um, where does it say? Okay, so as the first unique, first unique Exile provides any Spectre allies defensive bonuses whenever they're exiled, which include health protection and defense. Whenever Exile is removed, they gain offensive bonuses like crit damage, offensive potency. So. You know, once exile, Exiled is removed, you get some much needed damage output. Uh, he's also getting a new uh, status effect called Purgal Migration. Whenever he reaches 50 stacks of it, he gains a bonus turn and will have a way of transferring ex the Exile debuff onto himself, from himself onto an enemy for the rest of the battle. So that's where the whole fracture similarities come in. Um. Let's see, uh, is he going to be, he's going to be unlocked before GL Ahsoka is dropping, so apparently the way someone posted, I think it was like on Reddit, someone said like, it looks like the way this is being, like, Ezra's, Ezra is coming out, like Ahsoka will be coming in November-ish, so, and then he's not needed for GL Ahsoka because if they required a, a Conquest character to unlock her already on top of Commander Ahsoka Tano that you need for the Relic 9 unlock is ridiculous as it is. So anyways, let's get into the attacks and all that fun jazz with the kit. His basic is Fugitive's Defense. Give physical damage to target enemy and inflict speed down on them for three turns. If it scores a crit, he gains him and then the random ally gains foresight for a turn and then target enemy is staggered for two turns. Nothing too special there. It's basically him just using the force to, well, use the force to shove people around Kane's legacy has a four turn cooldown and is an army uh all of his armies are grand arena oriented so there is that um so all allies will recover 40 percent health protection you grant all specter allies and its target ally 50 percent up uh protection protection up 50 percent stacking for two turns and you spell all debuffs on them so you gotta heal a cleanse uh target other Ally attacks and Ezra Bridger assist, dealing 40% more damage, and both receive bonuses based on their tags. Now, I don't know if these tags stack on top of one another. I'd imagine so. So he'll be getting probably the Jedi Inspector ones, but Jedi will be getting tenacity up for two turns. Unaligned Force users gain defense up for two turns, and Inspectors will be getting backup plan for two turns, which cannot be copied or spelled, and also and also Ripase for two turns. So uh, looks if if they do stack on top of owner based off of his tags since he is a Jedi Inspector, he will be gaining that tenacity up, backup plane and ripase, which is going to be pretty useful. Additionally, if the target ally is a Jedi, a light side unaligned force user, or a Spectre, they gain a bonus turn. If the target ally is a Spectre, they also gain 100% offense on their next turn, and will dispel all buffs from the target enemy and blind the target enemy for two turns, which cannot be evaded on their next attack. So that's kind of annoying i mean 100 depending on which specter is being targeted that offense can be really nasty like if it's like og ezra or um sabine that'll be a good chunk of damage there i don't know about zeb or like chopper or whatever um or if it's like fulcrum maybe that'd be a good chunk of damage but i don't know if fulcrum will get the specter attack i'd imagine so but we'll have to wait and see whenever the uh, update gets pushed out uh, Ezra gains two stacks of resilient defense for two turns, and then five stacks of purple migration for the rest of the battle, which is where does it tell us what my mer purple migra whatever uh, somewhere in here it'll tell us what purple migration is. Um, anyways, also with the Omni bit, while in Grand Arena, get uh, Ezra will gain twenty five stacks of purple migration, and all Spectre allies gain backup plan for two turns, which cannot be copied or spelled. 
Now, getting 25 stacks, actually 30 stacks, because you get the 5 base and then 25 more with the army, it's pretty, pretty damn good, honestly. Especially since you need 50 to move the exile buff off. Well, buff, debuff kind of thing. The ability or, uh, you know, effect off of him and someone else on the enemy's team is pretty good. Uh, Daring advances a Zeta Ami with a three-turn cooldown. Uh, you're dealing physical damage to target enemy three times and inflict buff immunity, not buff immunity, healing immunity, sorry, and offense down for two turns, which can't be resisted. Kind of like Bane, but like, you know, instead of a double tap, it's a triple tap. Nifty. Uh, for each critical hit scored, you reduce the target enemy's defense by 30% stacking per turn. Okay, so if he... I wonder what his base crit chance is then, because that'll be, what, 90% if it's a triple crit hit? This attack gains 10% critical chance for each Spectre ally. Oh, okay, well, never mind. They're, they're giving him 10% crit chance. That's lovely. Uh, if Ezra scores three critical hits, the target enemy is stunned for a turn, which cannot be copied, dispelled, or resisted. Damn, they really thought of everything for daring advance. <laughs> so even if his like base crit chance isn't like the most like ridiculously high number you're gaining 10 percent for each specter ally so that's okay and then while in green arena for each critical hit scored you deal 20 percent damage based on targets max health which can't be made and you inflict buff immunity healing immunity and offense down for two turns which cannot be copied dispelled or resisted and then you reduce the cooldown of daring advance by one wow that's wow all right then that is that is definitely Wow. So you definitely need both of the special armies. Um, wow. Okay. How many Zetas does he have? Three? Three Zeta. So he's. Okay, so we're going back to triple Zeta, triple army conquest characters. Lovely. His first unique is Exile with a Zeta army. At the start of the battle, all Ice allies gain Foresight for two turns, all Spectre allies gain Tenacity for two turns. And then Ezra Bridger Exile is exiled for the rest of the battle, which cannot be copied, dispelled, or resisted. Ah, okay, so he starts off with a base. Okay. At the start of his turn, he gains two stacks of resilience defense, maxing out at four. First time each ally is exiled. Uh, they gain 30% critical chance, 60% defense, and 100% max health and max protection for the rest of the battle. Ooh, he's going to be a little difficult to get knocked out. The first time each ally loses Exile... They gain 30% critical chance, 60% critical damage, offense, potency, and then 30 speed. Nice. Uh, the first time Ezra is exiled, enemies cannot assist or attack again if their attack is targeting Ezra. Uh, when Ezra loses the exile for the first time, he performs an ability to call a random ally to assist. That is, like, really worded weird. The fucking commas, man. Come on, CG. We, got, we gotta get better with this punctuation shit. Uh, allied specters have instant defeat immunity while Ezra is active so you can't even use Commander Ahsoka or Nihilus wow okay so what Exile does you cannot attack gain buffs or gain other positive effects during another character's turn so you can't call him to assist raid bosses and GLs said can't gain buffs okay and any of the characters who damage them gain crit damage up and health steal up for one turn Okay. Huh. Okay, so... It's basically like a Jar Jar thing. You can't... Well, I mean, you you can actually gain buffs. But you can't be called to assist while you have Exiled. Interesting. Now, while in Grand Arenas, the first time a Spectre ally gains and loses Exile, they also gain 5% mastery up for <laughs> Relic and Fire level on them. Why? <laughs> okay. The first time a Spectre ally loses Exile, uh, they gain an additional 30 speed. These bonuses persist through defeats. What the fuck? So, like, even if you manage to kill, like, Ezra, and then, like, don't kill the rest of the team, they're still gonna have all these bonuses even after he's dead? Wow, okay. The Force is, is my ally, is just a Zeta, luckily. Uh, let's see. So he has plus 20% critical chance. So he already <laughs> he already saw us off of 20% extra critical chance before he even starts using the uh, Daring Advance special attack. Okay. And whenever he's inflicted with a debuff, he recovers 25% health. Okay, that's annoying. Uh, light side allies cannot... And another, not, another character stopping cooldown manipulations. Light side allies cannot have their cooldowns manipulated by enemies. 
Oh my god, CG, you really do not want these light side teams to be able to have their cooldowns fucked with, huh? Leia, um, freaking Queen Amidala as well, like, I don't remember who else has of late, but good grief. Whenever Ezra uses his ability, he gains 5 stacks of Pergo Migration, maxing at 50 for the rest of the battle. Okay, so even if he's not using the uh, Kanan's Legacy first, he's going to be getting 5 stacks. Okay, so that's a good way to start stacking Pergo Migration up. Whenever he de deals damage to an enemy, he gains 2 stacks of Pergo Migration for the rest of the battle. If this, if this attack is a critical hit, sorry, he instead gains 5 stacks of Pergo Migration. Okay, so... Basically, he's gonna need to have you want to ideally have good stack, a good, good high base amount of critical chance on him, so that way he's gaining five stacks of Pergo migration instead of two. So, okay, um, let's see. Pergo migration also, by the way, is plus one percent defense and one percent tenacity, so an extra fifty percent defense and tenacity once he hits fifty. Alrighty then. All right, let's read the rest of this before I get too ahead of myself. Whenever Ezra. Reaches 50 stacks of Purgle Migration, he gains a bonus turn and recovers 100% health and max protection. Lovely. The next enemy Ezra damages with the ability will be exiled for the rest of the battle, which cannot be copied, spelled, evaded, or resisted. And all enemies are inflicted with the ability block for a turn, which cannot be copied, dispelled, or evaded, or resisted. And Ezra then loses exile. So. Okay. Wow. Okay. Um, and then. For some reason, Meathead decided to include this weird artist rendition of Ezra at the bottom of it. So, um, wow, there's a lot to unpack here. So, what is the, what is, is Ahsoka going to be a Jedi or an unaligned Force user on top of the Spectre tag? Because it flat out says he is, I mean, this is already pretty much confirmed as soon as he like announced that we're getting Ezra Pritchard Exile, that he'll be Ahsoka's Conquest Lifter. So, is... So, is is Ahsoka going to be a Jedi, or is she going to be Unaligned Force user? I feel like she'll be a Jedi, just tag Jedi, but... Yeah, I don't know. This is... <laughs> There's not a lot I dislike about this kid. I like it, honestly. They really did a good job of embodying him from the Ahsoka TV show. I came really mad about it. And, you know, the whole Kanan legacy thing, a heartfelt uh, kind of, you know, call back to him and his relationship with Kanan. Um, it's just, yeah, I, I don't know. There's not a lot I have much to say negative about it. I mean, normally I'm like, oh, no, another light side character, boo. But, like, until we see what GL Ahsoka brings, I don't really know how much this will dictate the uh, flow of the team. I mean, already we're, we're seeing some pretty annoying things that could happen, like with the whole Pergo migration, uh, getting giving him extra tenacity and defense, and then exiled being placed on one of your characters, and the fact that they have insta-kill <laughs> uh, immunity while he's alive, and then the uh, fact that um, the bonuses persist through defeat is also a bit ridiculous for Spectre allies, so... But yeah, this is an interesting kid. I'm I'm extremely ex interested to see where they go with Ahsoka. Am I the biggest? F was I was I ever the biggest fan of Geo Ahsoka being a thing? No, absolutely not. But um, yeah, we'll 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 have to wait and see what they um do with her kit. Um, anyways, let me know what y'all think of Ezra Bridger exiled version in the comments below. Um. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. I hope you have a good rest of your day.